made it. Factory five. Laying eyes on the body for the first time is kind of a surreal feeling to see my name on the sticker there. Going to get ready to load it up and those are all the boxes that we're going to get. I brought it all over with a forklift and I was a little bit nervous because I'm like, I don't know if we're going to fit all this stuff in the truck and in the car, but we were able to make it work. And we actually have a couple boxes that they didn't have ready for us. They're going to have to ship it to us, which is common. When we first got there, we went right into the showroom and there were people there that saw us pull up with the trailer and asked us, is this Christmas morning? And I just responded, absolutely. They used this big arm on the forklift with a chain to lower the body down. The chassis is underneath it. Uh, you know, a lot of people look at it when I sent them a picture of it the first time. and like, that's it? That's what you get? And I'm like, yeah, that is what you get because you got to build the car. And I think that's the best part about this is you got to have the vision to know what it's going to look like when you're done. And we're ready to tackle a project like this. All right, so we're here at Factory 5 uh, in Wareham, Massachusetts. It took about three and a half hours to get here, but really for us, it's not that bad of a drive. It might take a little longer to go back, but we now have the car on the trailer. My dad's ratchet strapping the sucker down and we've got all the boxes in the back. I feel like it's gonna be like that scene from Fast and the Furious where they're driving through the streets of LA with all the car parts strapped to the truck. That's kind of like what I feel like right now. So really excited to get working on it. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the showroom and hopefully we talk to Dave Smith real quick and uh, get him on camera for you guys too. All right, now I'll crank this one so it pulls it back that way. So we're here at the Factory 5 showroom almost a year from when I was here last looking at the Daytona and really falling in love with it for not the first time, but the first time actually sitting in one and seeing one. So we're taking a quick look at it now as to what it's going to look like when we're all done with it and uh, we can't wait to get started on this project. Take a look. All right, this is like a 15 year long dream in the making of finally being able to order a factory five type 65 coupe and get to pick it up here and we're in Massachusetts and I finally get to meet the man the legend himself, Dave Smith. We're happy to build a car for you. I thank you so much. Thank you for continuing the tradition of this car because really the legacy of factory five is an entire different legacy in itself from what the Daytona Coupe is. I mean, they almost dumped those cars in the ocean, and now you can buy one of these and build it exactly how you want to your specifications. And like I said, I'm doing an LS-based car. If Pete Brock could put an LS7 in his, I could put an LS in mine. So. Well, you build it the way you want. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's what I love about it. If you think about the original cars, the original Shelby cars were collaborations between AC Motor Cars, the British, Ford Motor Company, the racers at Shelby. This car was a bastard from day one. Everybody had a lot of hands in it, and guess what? We're, we're continuing that tradition. We're putting a lot of hands in it. We built the chassis and the body and the parts for you. You're building the car. So we're just doing, we're just taking that history and that legacy and just carrying it forward. Yeah, and I know my dad and I, we, we built the Mustang 66 for the 302 to, to you know, sell it and to, to do this. And I joke with him, I go, we had a lot of rusty bolts we were taking off on that. Not here. We got none of that with this. Yeah, it's all brand new. new. Well, good luck, man. We're kicking off a project. Thank you good so job. much. Good job. Hey, see you guys later. Sneak peek here. These are the wheels that we're going to put not only on the Shelby Daytona, but on my dad's F100 pickup truck, the Halibrand wheels. This showroom is an experience in itself where you get to see a lot of different stuff about the builds, the projects, what it looks like half done, this huge cutaway that you see here. There's a lot of great info there. There's a the whole rack where you could actually see all the different types of parts that you would might want to get on the cars And there's a lot of really great examples of what the cars look like finished and unfinished here as well And you can kind of take a tour of the whole facility if you want You just got to book an appointment in advance to do that if the type 65 is in your cup of tea They have a number of different projects that you could order and build yourself as well But me personally, I think the type 65 is one of the most beautiful cars that has ever been built 
We spent a little bit more time in the showroom checking out some of the other cool things that they have, like this truck with the Coyote motor in it. But it was time to hit the road and head back to Saratoga. The drive home really wasn't bad at all. We definitely got a lot of people that were giving us thumbs up as it was driving by. I was surprised by that because people you know, might not even know what it is, but they might just think it's a cool looking car. So that was awesome. We had to stop a few times just to tighten the straps down, but it really held itself on there pretty well. We crossed the straps and then both the front and the back to really kind of keep it in place. And the boxes didn't really go anywhere. We put a tarp over them because it was going to start raining. It rained a little bit, but we made it back before the rain really started. The challenge that we really were looking at when we got it back in the garage was how the heck are we going to get it off of the actual trailer so that we could actually start working on this thing we also have to do all the inventory on this so we started to take the body off all right we got it home took one two three four screws out and all the tape off and uh, i think the body's just about ready to come off we want to make sure we get that off before we take it off the trailer because we're going to put it on some rollers because obviously we ain't got no rear end and we ain't got no engine oh boy You ain't going to see it like that because it's going to look like this. It's going to look like a cart for a while. Get ready. All right, so what we actually did was we ended up tying straps to the lift and put the lift up as high as we could, and that's as high as it could go there. We just lifted the chassis high enough to get the trailer out from underneath it. You know, obviously we're watching very slowly here. This thing doesn't come with any spindles or any rear end so you're gonna have to put it on something to move it around obviously we don't want to keep it on the lift like this so I got a couple rollers like this from Harbor Freight and then we're just gonna lower it back down onto it and then it's easily wheeled around the garage as we need it uh, until we actually get a front end and a rear end on it next thing we have to do is do a full inventory on everything that we got in the boxes and it's a lot of stuff then once we do that, we could start looking at the manual and seeing what we want to assemble first. My guess is that we want to do the rear end and the front end with the spindles, hubs, and brakes. That way we can get wheels and tires on this thing so it's actually a rolling chassis at that point instead of just a chassis. If you're looking for more Type 65 content, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing videos on this for probably the next couple of years until we finish it. I already have videos on the type 65 already because i'm working on the engine and everything else to get it prepared so make sure you guys follow along and check out those videos too